So we're going to keep it nice and... At live, uh, Karma Squad, Squad 1, will be heading out and setting up position. In the rough area of those IED marks. Uh, Sugar Squad, Squad 4, will be setting up along and around the infantry marks. Further west of that in Echo 8. Sloth Squad, Squad 3, will be following roughly that path and essentially trying to break into the western uh, Cora Valley and searching that area there. While Phoenix's squad will basically be breaking east and then cutting north up and trying to uh, scout and patrol through the northern part of the valley. After a certain time, we will find uh, the drone, and our objective is to secure the drone location. Uh, we're expecting the INS is probably going to try to scavenge the drone for supplies, so if that does happen, we need to stop them at all costs. Uh, so, if you find a radio setup or the actual drone, we need to blow it. Above all else, we need to make sure that they cannot get any of those parts on the uh, drone. Any questions? All right, good. Uh, one last thing is that this, the plan and everything will be changing on the fly. So FTLs, make sure you know your job. If you are unsure, make sure you are asking your uh, SLs. All right, guys, break them out, ready for live. Whatever you want, you can engage however you want. Got a question from uh, Drafter Things on the YouTube. He says, how do you decide which team to side on? It, it, it's wherever you randomly start. SLs are picked. Uh, they sign up and, you know, um, filled in. Right, make sure you have some guys uh, watching these once you get to your every, It's usually where you drop off yeah, once you uh, start off. Now. Gotcha. All right, so we got looks like one squad. This is Phoenix's squad heading out east. Everybody else is trucking out west. And it actually looks kind of like the same with INS. Yeah, Although... pretty much mimic. Yeah, so nothing to keep in mind. Uh, we looks like a smaller force over here on the east. Yeah, Phoenix is moving pretty fast, We're too. We're not going to actively search for it, but if we happen to find a concentration in an area that might be hide out, we'll sweep it and take it out. If that happens, they'll be forced to defend the parts pile. Oh, okay, open the map here. You can kind of see we got a nice little spread. Actually, I'm surprised no one took contact. So I mentioned earlier, guys, that obviously this is a this is a one life event. So none of these guys really want to like rush too bad, right? Because they don't want to just all die instantly, and that's it. So we're gonna you'll see them uh, playing a little bit more conservative, like they're doing right now. I don't think, uh, I think it's going to start popping off here on both sides. Yeah, it looks like Godzilla Pro has led right, a uh, fire team across the, uh, the river here. And I think the closest to contact of any other uh, seven, part two, of the map four. here. So the reason we're seeing a split yeah, is because some squads are going for the hideout and some squads are going for the drone. Um, Phoenix actually outflanked Evan, although I don't know if he knows or cares. Meanwhile, over on the other side, this is where we're going to see the main engagement go down. Someone got tagged. I'm not sure who that is off the bat. Not dead, but just shot. We had a fire team northwest 100. Hey, for... Oh, it's that Dick's folk? Oh, no. That's not great. Although yeah, he will... Dick's folk took a hit. He will have a medic to heal him. Yeah, definitely. Looks like Revy and, and company are, are he putting on some heavy fire over here. All right, guys, Where are they at? Uh, four change of plans. I want They're to over our, by the red west. smoke. Oh, okay. Uh, gotcha. on, the, on the south side of the river here. So you're not going to head to your location. It's I sad when you got this really in a one-off event. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you, sir. Uh, it's definitely not, not fun. Definitely not ideal. <laughs> Copy that. Yep, hold there. Three and four, I want you hauling ass towards... But that uh, is why we play two rounds and, and uh, you know, get another shot at it. Roger, uh, we took a considerable right. amount of contact. We're still moving. Copy. So... Yeah, four, head for both south. Teams, oh, oh, Dick's folk went down. On that side. Oh, as I was saying, both oh, teams are doing a good a... job of moving without getting killed. Dick's folk goes down, which is a huge problem because he's a squad leader. That is a very big drop right there. So if you guys... 
if you guys don't aren't, aren't sure if you haven't seen before so the way that this stuff works is there's a squad leader who designates two fire team leaders who are in charge of four people each We've got light enemy once the now. squad leader dies he passes his command comms on to a fire team leader uh, once the fire team leaders are dead they don't squad get command comms anymore so they are pretty much isolated to just our squad unless they can literally run next to a command and or an sl and talk to them in local so losing your sl is bad one for coordination and sit two because you lose the comms a lot of the time kilo gets tagged up it's a very nice screening from the uh, united states team here they're screening that team going towards the uh the river here and trying to get to uh to this other squad over here on the uh, radio and none of them have really made the push except for Evan, I think. Evan's guys over here. This is one lead. Contact. I think uh, with the loss of Dick's folk, these, uh, the squad the here is, is kind of trying to figure out what, what the next move four. is. You know, uh, it's, if you're not in contact, it's kind of stunning anymore, losing your SL that quickly off of, uh, off of of live, and you're gonna bound past and they're trying to pick up the pieces here. Definitely not ideal. There's uh, a fire team leader get the binoculars too. Um, only sometimes. So just because you're a fire team leader in. Fire team leads in squad ops were a thing long before the FTL kit was implemented. <laughs> so the um, sometimes we'll give an FTL kit out, but um, I don't know if there's any right now. Um, uh, I think INS gets maybe not. Maybe they don't get that. Yeah, I. Uh, I don't think there are any fire team lead kits. Command, we're so being a fire team now. leader and having the fire team lead kit are two separate things. Slot. It's kind of uh, confusing. Sure but, um, placing down charges. Yeah, I don't uh, think there's any extra binoculars here. Will we ever see a main actually, battle team? They operation. actually do get two FTL kits. Oh, okay. They do get two. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Um, is there an, uh, any tank used in an operation? Uh, I mean, uh, I, I'm not the one creating the ops. My guess is that. we Once will probably see a tank, guys, gonna, but uh, they are really tough to balance, as you can imagine. So, um, one, three, and four will usually they're used one, three, in campaigns over long line. weekends. Yes. Uh, campaigns, they have, I think the last campaign, uh, two campaigns one, ago, actually we ran, we it was a pretty much all-out armor yeah, battle. Yeah, it was pretty interesting to watch and, and be a part of. And, uh, a couple tanks were used on each side of it, I believe. That's correct. They are moving westward towards... So probably, no. which is probably, we'll Command, see some more. Uh, if that SL dies, 2SE does Copy not get the uh, bombers, no. Charge may not be enough, nope. so have your AR put a, Looks like Dorf has pushed well. across the river and is uh, closing in on this United States team over here. United States squad. Yes. Uh, this is actually kind of, the... it's kind of a sick flank, actually. Yeah, Karma Cut's He's squad over here is getting closed in by Dorf. Copy they might have a shot right. on soon. Hey, just be advised, we're breaking down your east. You have to watch east now. Cut. Oh, they're right on their heels. I actually wonder if they see them. All right, three, I want you pushing out. I'm pretty of sure Dwarf north. may have an uh, idea. I want you being able to get eyes on Monolith. Yeah, they look like they're monolith. hauling over One, here. One, I want you setting up somewhere around Delta 9-4. Yeah, the campaigns uh, are fun. Out sure, that they're area. fun. They're, they Four, once one has passed, I want you generally south and one up, uh, day kind affects of a the next day too, which is kind of a cool, another cool idea with so the north campaigns. Side nursery, inside a nursery, that whole like the area. results from one day will affect the next. Command, one. Uh, what did you want me to do again? Sorry, I was talking to my guys. Push north. Definitely cool to keep the storyline going. Uh, you know yeah. what you do in the that op before affects how the rest of the ops play out. Yeah. Next, so it's definitely interesting. Command, command, this is so uh, drone destroyed. I, I can get <clears throat> high ground in this D9 to one. Delta nine four location. Of. So now that the drone has been destroyed, which is the U.S. objective, right? The INS need Correct. to get to that point, and the the right, guys, U.S. need to hold that now, point. So, we're just gonna so the hideout's in. kind of irrelevant at this point. Set up. Command, who's moving in from the northeast? Where do you want us? Uh, just start sweeping. Take uh. Move steady, but just keep sweeping uh, west across that northern field. West. Yeah, this is about where this gets messy. You are correct about that. Dorf is so I close to these guys. Catch up for lost time. Once you get to roughly Echo Seven, slow down again. Yeah, Dorf is uh, calling out over command comms that he doesn't believe that they are looking Copy at that. his One way. Of plans. I uh, actually see Vents holding security down that wall, you so we may be able to spot him. I actually turned around as soon as I said Roger that. Uh, this could get this real bad. So Dorf right now, definitely has an idea that where they're at, and he is positioning his guys accordingly. 
I don't know if he knows where Lima is. Lima and Cuba Before are down there. Maybe there. not exactly the exact put location, but he knows the general area of where uh, they're trying to get. Southwest. A firm, double time. Cop. Oh, they're pulling back. Oh no, they let him go past the road. Three, I need you being in position to catch oh, that's tough. Try to move through Monolith or west of Monolith. Four, you're gonna slide. Uh, I see some down and intense between, engagements uh, here. These guys are all in the open. Two separate fights going on. Oh, oh no, this is swacking here. Wilbur and Bicar both die to Dorf Squad. Meanwhile, We're Daniel dies on the other side. Vince dies. Oh, that's a great job that was, by Dorf Squad. That was Tap City right there. Yeah, hey, that is a post and toast. That is a post and toast. They just laid down on that road and let them have it in those trees on the west or on the left side of my screen. On the right side of my screen, you can see the battle in the river going on. Daniel gets killed. They got one guy across. Although now, now... Karma Cuts, Karma Cuts Squad definitely knows they're there now, and yes. it's really up to Dorf to try to maneuver on these walls to try to get up to him if that is indeed his intention. Yeah. This is one lead. I'm 50% strength holding my east flank. Up. Meanwhile, Kuba and uh, Lima Bean have turned have around and seem like they're and, uh, uh, set position to trying south, to find a, a way to get over there. Four, I, yeah, I cannot oh, just as oh, get the fuck Someone out else Chonka, Chonka shoots a rocket at Lima Bean. Barely hits him, though. Whew, man, two fights happening on two separate parts of the map. Oh, Lima gets stagged, but he's not dead. He is bleeding. So Karma mentioned he's at 50% strength, and he's holding Commander, the buildings for now. Are they across the river to your north? Or are they definitely a pretty big win for NS. I mean, it definitely looks like Dorf is pulling off the majority of his squad in the engagement, so I think he got what he wanted. He definitely got a... Uh, a plus in that victory of getting rid of those guys over there. Yeah, Dorf Squad did. Yeah, they snuck up, let him cross, got them all lined up, and just bam, bam, bam with grenades and prona uh, on the road, just letting them have it. R really shows how how much spacing and also, <laughs> you know, FTLs getting your guys make sure they're not in open space, and if they are, then you know it's only one or two guys that gets gets hit, you know. And, and it there also, you got the entire fire team swiped. It also definitely goes to show how important your fire... Because your fire team leads are the ones telling your guys, like, don't shoot, let them cross, right? Like, keeping them informed. Um, and so having good fire team leads right there is really enabled them, I think, to do that. Plus, Dorf is, a, like, an incredibly veteran um, squad leader and oh, commander. Definitely. So, I mean, he, 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 At he's got the... Them on lockdown right there. As you said that, it looks like Sebi went down to Lima Bean in that field. I don't think he uh, had any Sebi had any clue movement, that Lima Bean was laying there. South to north from my east flank. Yeah, this it's actually really clean by INS so far. We have contact in Monolith. Copy that. Do not push Monolith. Pull right. back from it. Okay, so they called contact in Monolith, which is I don't know whose squad that is. Can you figure that out? By well, Dick's so you want to back pushing back? directly to you from your southeast close up. So. It looks like uh, Doobie Scoob's taken over for that squad. So. Got it, got it. And he was told specifically not to push so into Monolith, which I think is probably a smart Hang call. On. Yes. That's a, that, that's a killer. You've got contact coming towards you southeast, a second it's element. Should we element check out the Cedar's Battle in first person? So, as of this second, this fight isn't streamed in first person. Um. But you, people are free to record, so I'm sure Karma will record, um, and a couple other people may record as well. Um, so in the past, and this is you know something that is being looked at, we did uh, um, have a setup where multiple people would, people would stream their first person views, and we could switch between. As I'm talking, Raptor Force, Nightmare, and Kuba all die, <laughs> and so that may be coming wow. back. That maybe that's a thing we're looking at, but um, for now, it's just the the drone top down view for me. It's definitely been tried uh, a couple times recently. I think there's a, quite a few issues with this it, is, and, uh, you know, it's timing and everything. So uh, look out for that in the future. Copy though. That I, one. I do Start believe that's in the works. Out, uh, yeah. West, if you have to try to get to the point by us. A good way to find out who is posting videos from these perspectives is if you join the Discord. Again, the Ops Media is a, a Discord channel specifically Copy. for media from our servers and our events and stuff like that. So that's or a good. Or give me an update. What's the situation like up there? 
right, yeah, definitely. Down. A lot right, of people, right, 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 a lot of people post their POVs, highlights yeah, from their, you know, stream clips. And also contacts to my northeast, but unconfirmed. Mortars are being called in. Okay, oh, you're really one, short. Oh, when you oh, pull yeah, out of there, when you're pulling out south, making sure you're watching that uh that map border, make sure they can't slip around us. All right, so let's take a look here. So we have one squad. We have a squad of monolith, a squad again, south of monolith again. or north of monolith, excuse me. I want you heading. And then south, we've got command there, and sloth and, uh, flanking way around. He's area. told his guys to not Project. push in. It's probably smart. They're just trying to work this situation. They know Dorf is here still. They're trying to fix this situation, and then they can make the push. Um, Four, is that going to take still primarily east if you have anything west? The yeah, primarily east. Third. Unknown west. Four lead, four lead, be advised, your right flank is uh, falling up. S uh, oh, S Jack. Oh, he didn't get Raptor. It's dropped. Oh, Another one bites hey, its sled over here and gets dropped. Lots of trades going on. Monolith. This is a war of attrition right now. And you got the Harv. He's a squad leader. He's out alone in this, this ditch over here. That's not a good place. And he's <laughs> just got engaged by Shugart and he's gone. Clean. That's clean. That's huge. Losing squad leaders is so tough, especially at this point. This is the point where you got, like you guys said, this is the point right, where everything gets messy. And having your squad leaders is so important. So contacts, when you lose uh, them, it just it really cuts north, down your coordination. South right now. So for your possibly getting pincered right now, you're free to maneuver as you need to for, but just try to link up a friendly forces. As well. right now, it looks like all these squads are very that, spread man, out. There's or, very sporadic fighting, you know, little, little engagements here or there. But other than that, flank, zero contact so far. Yeah, they're, they're uh, really playing border, passive over here, which is smart. West. Uh, really the main contact is happening uh, straight in the center. It appears to be inside of Mosque and three ascending of fire team. If you look at the that. kills, it's 14 to 10 on the United States side, so not terribly too off offset here, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely four guys can make the difference in the end. Yeah. So we said D91, D91. Okay. So hey, uh, this is where INS and the Pat are gonna have to D7, take. Seven, or D711 for uh, mortar location. Copy. INS is have quite stretched, uh, but they've done Roger, a decent job with kills so far. Command, so it's definitely not over. I'm taking the remainder of my forces set up on the southeast side of the map. I have eyes on the east map border up. Solid copy. Four, try to fill in some kind of gap between three and Those one. mortars Impossible. seem to be a little off. Uh, uh, I'm not sure who's I'm giving the, really the, the coordinates out. out for you. But... Yeah. Where is the mortar pit? It's up north, looks like. Oh, actually, as I say that, they're getting pushed. On the mortar fob. Yeah, it looks like it. There's a fire team headed over there. Yeah, so the squad leaders aren't able to mark the map at all, which makes the mortar, ranging the mortars a, a bit tougher, um, and also coordination a bit tougher. So when, when you see the mortars hitting the ops, it's real nice, because it's really tough to do. This could be very, very big here. Uh, Razor's inside this compound with Lex Ryan. That's two command pieces right there. Oh, no. Yeah, Razor is they have no commander. clue they're coming. Oh, no. <laughs> They're still talking about mortar positions, and Vader Centurion's looking the entirely wrong way. This is huge. Let's see if they start. Let's see if they're doing anything in local. It sounds like they might be limiting it to squad comms right now. You said they've taken out the mortar fob. Bartok, hey, a very good shooter. He might be able to whammy uh, Razor here. Copy. Just wait. Don't shoot him on sight. Let's let's see how many there are. Let's listen in with them. No, sir. Well, I'm walking. Two, take your time on that flank. Contact. Four, try to get into whatever Contact. position you can. Stand on. Yeah, I'm setting up a hasty ambush now. Oh, yeah. Bartok, that's a huge flank. Oh no, they've vacated the area. It's just Rager by himself now. Bartok, so smart, not shooting right away. Getting a nice job. He's figuring the situation out. He gets the knife kill! There it is, dude. That's a whammy right there. Bartok, nice command, is. by the way. Excellent. Digging a radio so they can't use those anymore. Dwarf actually calls out the command is down. Yeah, so actually, Lex leaving is, it's bad that Command died, but if that other group with Lex it didn't definitely, leave, It definitely saved them. They would have all been instantly dead. Grenades are thrown inside the compound. Goon gets annihilated by Lex Ryan. And Lex Ryan gets 
kill him from the window there by Bacon Batman. Why is that guy hit too? Although he's a medic, so he can't heal himself up. I might just be hearing things, but I thought I heard footsteps. Bartok guarding that radio with his life. Two lead, be advised, on your way westbound, you're gonna run into contact over. Yeah, we're already taking contact. We are engaging it right so now. So this fight is happening north, and looks like we're starting to get a scrap here between. Well, it looks like NSA spy took over and Dorf's guys. I think Dorf actually. Oh, hey, he's man, alive. Whole fire team west. Yeah, Dorf. Dorf is uh, two IC at the moment, west. so he's technically in command here. One got northeast, east. Oh, but Dorf takes Dude, it. Dorf's gone. Fucking, uh, oh no, that's man. We're Nine losing them left and right. Uh, you'll push up to it and then push around it. I actually don't think we there's an original the SL on the INS side. That oh, is very, very bad for INS. Especially now that you can see, this is the compound the U.S. have to hold, guys. This one I'm looking at right now. They have a beautiful setup right now of defense. They got eyes everywhere. They've taken out the enemy leaders. This is really, really tough. Uh, and it's going to be all down to the fire team leads, like we talked about before, who can... You know, as to who can too late, too late. actually You've make the plays. This is a step-up moment for west people. From your northern element. How copy? I left the north for a moment to check out where Dorf you was. Copy, copy the last. Looks Definitely like not much sorry, movement up in the north. It's kind of calmed down. Now. They're, um, they're kind of holed up, kind of not wanting to die at this point. Just U.S. knows that they have the objective, so. 3v3, Bartok, Bacon, Batman, and Grunt versus Vader, Centurion. Monkai. Okay, Actually, just Bacon, Batman, Grunt. Enemy infantry reinforcing their attack. Oh, oh excuse me, Bartok, Grunt. Yeah, yeah, but, so, yeah. Oh, wait, Lon is... Oh, sorry, Lon Bacon, is, Batman's uh... alive. I'm, I'm wrong. I was just baited by admin cam, guys. Baited by admin cam. <laughs> Typical squad. So it is like a 4v2, actually. A so it's a fire team size. Just, yes. just Bartok Go ahead, three. and Grunt, looks like. So my Bravo team took to be up fair, though, Bartok is kind of worth uh, right worth more the, than uh, just he one doesn't, soldier. He doesn't have the lat kit, the though. Currently Although he didn't knife Razor, my which is pretty subject. pretty BM. Copy that. Just taking a look at the map. Oh, um, a couple of little scraps going on down here. I, I, I'm assuming the entire insurgent force is cutting off to right now to just deal with a firm, uh, to start pulling back north from your location. Uh, be advised. Uh, squad 2, A4. SL. 2, uh, pull back north now. Get your guys out of there. Cool. A little fire team flank going on south. You're gonna pull back north and try to start cutting west. Looks like score is kind of... Oh, fight milk. Kind of close to... Fight. Kind of closer together than before. Yeah, they're, they're bringing it back, but it might not be right now. Fight milk's got this line up. Oh, he did get a kill. Alright, good spacing. Uh, from the INS, they didn't commit too hard right there. All so. right, contacts. Uh, no one died. One look west. There's, we got contacts to our south, southwest. I'm looking already. Surprise! There's no option to make player cams invisible. I know, I know, man. We guys Once we do that, uh, the spectator will be far, far hey, better. Firm, I've that out. But until then, Roger. we'll have to manage. Plus, you get to watch me screw up, which is sort of funny. Two, I need you getting around that contact. When it doesn't blow your ears out, that is. Back up with us. Stalemate. Right in the center of the map. I think North is looks, looks like still quiet, right? Has anyone actually died up here? Oh, as I say that, yes, they have. Bartok and Grunt dealing with two of the contacts. Oh, Bartok is down. It's just Grunt. Grunt out to get it. Oh, there we go. And very good. That is a resolved oh, conflict by Vader. Yep, Roger that. That's it for them up north. Nice flank. They got the command. Confirm. They got the mortars down. Um, but they did lose everybody eventually. Yeah, it uh, looks like U.S. command is holed up in this, Two is moving. this building here inside the compound Copy that they that need though. to hold in the game. So uh, got one fire team Why opposing them west, over here. East. So this is a part of Korra is Fight Milk has this 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 so stream command, they said there's at least cut off, guy left in that mortar but fob, so they, they can just walk through the field because there's so many walls on this map. And there's so Copy many ways to, to get around that, man, it, it requires a little more than two people normally to be covering all these angles. They weren't able to dig up radio or anything while they were there? Negative. They got stuck inside Mosque and then they just got pinned. Hopefully they Copy. traded and killed Here they everybody. go, like raptors through the tall grass. Hawk, Tinkerbell, you, D League all walking up where they know Fight Milk is. They don't know Beep Baby's there, probably.
Felix Beef looking. Baby really needs to hold this this northwest side there. Oh, he did a really good job to at least get the spot and not die instantly. Damn. Really important to not die. Fight Milk turns around and you. Oh, no. You may get him. Beef Baby goes down. Uh, I've got you gets Beef Baby. Maybe, maybe he gets Fight Milk here. Delete got shot, and I'm, I think he might right, have got shot by Nuki. Not sure Don't how he got hit. Two, you can start eight. bringing it in around the point. If you're not in immediate contact. Oh, we're taking contact right yeah, These two guys know exactly where they were at. Tinkerbell and you. Roger, we're bringing it. If they do, I'm going to head it over to the east. Because a lot of contact going down here. Kilo 9 goes down. Money Man goes down. Command, this is As one. I'm this U.S. setup is just so strong across this river. Because now the onus is him. on INS to push. I think for INS now, they have to cross this river here. And that's a task in itself. Uh, we're going to be pushing northwest, try to flank around to regroup with uh, you guys. Oh, this is, this two, is I don't rough. want you going. Start cutting southwest now, too. I do not want you going that far north. Start cutting back towards us. Start going to make a line for us. If he cuts in southwest right now, he's going to run into that element that I spotted in between two and four. Yes, but that element's currently engaging four, so I need a double timing. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm just now. making sure. Bit of a stalemate here. White milk is still grids. alive. I need to get closer here, Commander. Three, give him grids. One, grid on contact. Charlie, oh. nine, three, three, just on the other side of the oh, wall. This is of close. Us. We're in the alleyway. They're in the open field. Oh, you want to. Oh, he, oh, the grenade We're was so close. Boy, that was close. You wanted to take a peek. We Fight Milk actually gets hurt. So he has the bandage. There's a chance you's going to hear him bandaging and take the peek. Oh, as I say that, Fight Milk says they probably heard me bandage. Fight Milk pulls back, really smart. Is any objective play happening or is it all firefights? Um, so the objective is here, okay? Th this compound that we're looking at right here, this is where the drone was was destroyed. You can see it right there, US destroyed. Um, so now the US have to defend. Now the forces are so split up that we're kind of just seeing a bunch of firefights as INS try to work their way in. It's also important to note that INS have also lost their, their SLs, so their communication is a little bit breaking down. Which is why you're seeing more sporadic firefights rather than like one coordinated push. How did you not get damaged? So the grenade actually, I think the grenade was hit right here and he was on the other side of the wall. So he probably got his, he got his britches scared off, but uh, he didn't actually take damage. You as the only guy left in between. Still in the fields, uh, one. Yeah, Roger, we're rotating. We killed one in the field direct south of you. Oh, uh, there he goes. Roger, you're coming. And he's gone. So it looks like the majority of this push is going to come we're from the north here. Uh, but you also have a, uh, a fire team of the United States over here on the north side. You're going to be pushing Forward across in the uh, back there. Direct comms, try to walk him in on targets around you. Yeah, this is tough. Cap. Best play for them right now, not that they really know, is to use these fields to get up close. Can opponents hear local comms? They cannot. So Copy squad, cool. only your team can hear you communicate. Um, enemies can hear lots of things like you reload, have you bandage, but not local. And the reason that they've stated for not having local Be comms is now. if you can hear the enemy in local, people uh, will just advised, use just things like Discord to communicate. It would be great for these events, Roger, but for confident. normal play, we're still two, we're gonna try to it's kind of not ideal. Now, I mean, I would love to see in the future if it's there's some way to mod that in. Yeah, Because um, it's four, great for the one life stuff, but for pub play, it doesn't really work great. Now, east. Two, if you're calling out to contact, contact try to disengage. Call. We also have a contingent of Karma Cats uh, squad here flanking around these walls here. If you have to, they could uh, get eyes on here to. soon. So Karma is on the west, correct? He's all the way west. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah, right. he's on the southwest and he's pushing along these walls and could hit a uh, 
Vader Satarian and, and friends. That's a good Copy call. We're gonna be pushing southwest, There's some scrapping going on in the center. I think they're trying to really pull back. Trying to they're consolidate. Trying to chase you too. We'll, uh, we'll engage him. Cool. We've, we're pretty much surrounded in this field. One's on your southwest and is able to uh, assist. Copy, we have contact southwest. Right. Copy, we're gonna tie in with Armica, right. leading from the front here. I'm gonna take off the, uh, the <clears throat> names for a second. Although, it looks like King went down. Uh, so you can kind of see it. We got like a, a handful of guys in the field, a handful of guys chasing them. Real scattered along this edge. One standby. Couple protect guy, control. one guy, it looks like only one or two prone to the ditch here, so. Kamikaze squad storm takes out uh, Diggs over here. He tried to cross a river. Yeah, this is looking real tough for NS. Because even if even if they get a bunch of kills here, they still have to breach the building. And also with the limited amount of uh, command that they have, it's gonna be difficult for them to organize it up. Definitely. And also Alpha is, you know, he's done this enough. He he won't let. His guys die, all die out. Two, we're tied in with your right flank. He's letting them go to town because he knows he has an right advantage. Flank. But if it need be, he'll pull people back. I think Vader is still alive. Oh, I, I cursed him. Oh. <laughs> As I said that, he gets domed. Two, continue to sweep south. Actually, I think it was uh, three, and, uh, it was his buddy over oh, here. Vader's still alive. And, uh, oh, yeah. That, dome that guy. Vader is still alive, so maybe he can find karma here because he knows he's here. Gave him a facial, really. Uh, Vader calling over command comms. He doesn't think he can escape here. Yeah, he's probably right about and that. He's he's really right. I, I don't see a way for him to get out of this one. The only way he can is if Evan, Patrick, uh, Calm of advice. Uh, those two guys. Oh, oh, and, oh, and it's Oh, uh, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> What's what good is analysis if you're gonna get uh, if you're gonna get toasted like that, man? Uh, so Evan yeah, and Patrick are coming uh, in, We've tied Roger, in. but they really don't have much of a chance. If we look at kills, 35 okay, kills for the U.S., 22 for INS. We're watching the east and south right now. Uh, really started to go unravel whenever those commands went down. It was pretty even once you lost that last uh, last original squad leader. Yeah. And since then, it, it's been kind of a uh, schlacking by the United States here. Squad up's going yeah, to allow the Canadian sniper. Um, three, and, I uh, would bet so. I think we try to incorporate Copy. most of the new stuff that's coming in. So um, it may not be. I'm not sure if it's in at this moment, but new ops are coming out all the time. I'm sure it'll be incorporated. Storm goes down. Evan, I believe. Chicken goes down. It's Evan and Patrick, or that's it. That might be it, actually. Yeah, you see all the admin cams. On oh, top. it looks like Evan just domed Karma Cut right there. <laughs> One shot to the head. Yeah, so this one is all but over for INS. I think INS have two guys alive, and US probably have I'm over a squad. The map order than and West. they have the position. Copy. Looks like most contacts are going to be on the west side or northwest side. Uh, two. Try to make sure one's guy is uh, catches up with you because karma's down. Copy. We'll hold. Liberal pundit pulling back after yeah, both of his one, buddies uh, die puzzle, here. Uh, just link up with a liberal and pull him south. Yeah, man, this is tough. I'll open the map, but yeah, I think I think that's right. I think these are the last two here. To send your AR over to my location. Cool. Boy, this is tense. You know what? Nice little flank going on here by Evan. Uh, yeah. Definitely trying to get all the way around this this junk that they know exactly where they are on that that northern side there. Yeah, too. Just send yeah, one so I pulled names off, but this is Evan and Patrick Starr, the last two guys. Copy, we are taking contact northwest where Liberal uh, is, so we're going to try and send a buddy team instead of one. Copy that. 
I, I'd hang uh, out. No, man. negative. We're not gonna waste. We're not gonna waste. Uh, I don't want to waste. If you've never been much, alive uh, this late, you're not like this. Back if you can. It's so. You yes, got adrenaline pumping right now. Command, uh, I have ARs watching the it may I seem a little silly to get adrenaline, but it definitely does pump through. I mean, you're copy that. You know, you're one of the only guys left, and you know you have a, a daunting task ahead of you. And uh, it's one of the most fun parts about being in squad ops. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of fun stuff, but I wouldn't want to be last alive every time. But uh, no, definitely not every time. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Is this round two, Truth and Money? No, this is not round two. You have come at a good time. So we are wrapping round one up. These are the last two guys alive. Uh, and then we will take a little break and then get on to round two, where we will switch teams. Same op, but we will switch teams. Checking it nice and slow here. Checking all their, all the, the pathways, checking everything. Still, I mean, this is pretty much impossible, but it's never over till it's over. But it's pretty much over. Actually, I take that back. Watch. Evan's going to get 10 kills, and he's going to carry everything here. It's a bold observation there. Right, guys, <laughs> just just yeah, I wouldn't put any money on that, but my heart uh, wants it. Oh, there's a couple guys you can see down there checking out that yeah. brick in the wall. They definitely got their corners covered. I don't think anybody's getting into that. Hey, Blitzkrieger, how can I get in a one-life event? Um, it's good that you asked. Um, so for op servers, we have some public servers, which are just normal, regular gameplay. If you're looking to do these events, you can head over to squadops.gg, and there's a Discord link at the top. Click that. You'll join the Discord. We can get you all the info you want about how to join, how to take... The, the basic training, all that stuff. Server info, everything. So, yeah, if you head over to squadups.gg and click the Discord right, link I'm at the top, take say you came here from stream or something like that, really. people will get you sorted out and we can get you Sounds good. some events. Ooh. Evan has eyes on. They're in a really bad spot here. They have virtually no cover and... Uh, they know exactly where they are, where the INS is, so. Yeah, we have, we have contact uh, northwest, yep. Oh, Alpha. Oh, no. Oh, they get, someone gets yep, murdered. Alpha's about to nade over. Oh, no. That's it. Hey, no problem, Blitzkrieger. Other side of the wall from you, five. I think that's it. That's GG from the event admin. Hey, GG's all around. I have that grenade got him. That's funny. To do this, we're going to have Dorf Squad moving southwest out of this ravine and moving up towards the MG mark to try to get a very early kind of uh, key position there and basically controlling that river. Um, to help him with this, with his dick swipe, double checking. Sorry, no, Lex's guys, sorry, we'll be moving a little bit uh, north of him, kind of near this little berm, just a little bit north of it, and facing down the ravine just to the northeast of that MG mark, also north. Basically just trying to cover that approach and keep him covered while his guys move in there. While this is happening, uh, Dick's folks, guys, will be breaking fast west, trying to secure the drone location. He has a breacher in his squad. Uh, your breacher is very important. He is responsible for destroying that drone once we get to the location. Uh, lastly, we have our little flanking squad with Harv. He's going to make sure we don't get flanked to the east while also directing fire to the north, about 50 meters behind uh, the other element on our, just north of where the four mark is right now, at this five. Basically, we're just trying to set up a cordon along there, keep them from moving, and we'll keep shifting west as necessary, just to uh, make sure we gain control of that drone and blow it up. Any questions? All right, squad leaders, break. We got two I minutes left. Gonna commit Here suicide. Go. Here we go. The guys southwest are going. Looks like it's probably. Um, never mind. They're gonna send only a couple people. Not seeing anybody from the INS pushing east. They're all pushing west. Uh, they're adjusting. Oh, it looked like they were staged. Maybe they weren't as. It might be they weren't as quite ready for it. 
Because they're all pushing west. This could be uh, very interesting, actually. Yeah. So they're both racing for that drone, that um, destroyed drone in the form of, I believe it's a Logi truck. Uh, but yeah, they're all hustling over there. Alpha Guido is preaching speed to his squad leaders at the moment. Um, he wants to get there as soon as possible, so Black he's able to figure out what happens yeah. after they get there and they can control the situation. Yeah, so you can see um, they're, they're matching, but again, INS is just outpacing. You guys are bunching up there. Make sure you're spreading they're, they're just outpacing. As you can see them kind of heading across the map. Some people may be starting to spot, but it <laughs> looks like Dixon, not. The well, Lex is breaking off to probably provide some northern screen here. The U.S. was very bunched up there for a second. Yeah, they so, are. Not something you really want to have happen, especially early in, early in a round here. Yeah. Well, getting across this dangerous river early is really good. Not getting caught by his fire team. Oh, they get a spot. That is Lex's guys, I believe. Oh, nice no. northern screen. You had me a Jello gets gets schwacked over here on this side of the river. No. He's got some guys. All right, one, I hear those guys. We just talked he's about it. AR. Oh no! Sledby goes down too. That AR is posting and toasting. Who is this over here? Looks like uh, your nightmare. Yeah, this guy, these guys, Lexus guys, po uh, yeah, posting up on that wall. Really nice northern screen to cut off any kind of cheeky little little um, aggression from INS here. Definitely, I think the United States had a good good plan here: get control of that river and get across it so that they can uh, they can have eyes on these guys moving across. But yeah. didn't catch most of the platoon moving west. They were just a little too fast for them. Yeah, partisan actually also died. So three guys down. We should see probably three two zero. There's three of them. Get, get banged over here. Although what they so these guys died. Okay, again, these guys died, but what they did is stall the US team. So they died, which is bad, but now INS gets to this is the drone we're talking about right here, guys. This truck. This is what INS needs to be loading up and 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 getting the supplies from. And so they've actually stopped the US team. Even though they lost the did not they definitely did not die in vain. Yes, yeah, so their uh, their deaths definitely caused the entire platoon to slow down there. So agree. It's really good, actually. Really nice job by them. You, obviously, you don't want to lose too many, but the objective is definitely priority here. So Ideally, right. you'd like to stop the platoon without dying, but sure. <laughs> sometimes that just doesn't happen. Sometimes you got to give it up. That was a nice play by I think it was Jello. Uh, who is it, Jello? Partisan, Partisan and I think Sledby, if, yes, I'm not, and Sledby. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, all three of them, nice job. Ooh, lots of contact here. Bacon Batman goes down. Dorf's calling heavy contact. Whole oh, U.S. Nuclear cutting twister it down. eats a frag. Um, we're taking some contact. They are right Slots now. is calling out really close, and he doesn't really know how close they really are. Use those explosives, clear them out. Three start laying down fire direct. Oh, Doobie man. Scoot gives his position away. Ooh. Copy that. That's Tap City right and there. Pays the price for it. Yeah, taking the tap city. One, make sure you have a little bit of eastern security going. It's decent little engagements going on. Not working out. Oh, they, uh, you have two SLs right on top of each other here with Sloth and Disfolk. Oh yeah, they're just a wall apart. One nade could change this whole thing. Bad nade from Sloth. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, but he gets Disfolk though. Oh no, he killed his own guys, but he did end up. Taking his target out eventually. Someone did. Oh no. That. I'm not. I'm not a, a stranger to team killing, and that was pretty bad. Oh man, it's so. You feel so bad when you team killing in one life too. It feels a hundred times worse than doing it in a pub server. You don't want to ruin somebody's experience, and that's really what it's all about. And sometimes accidents do happen. Yeah, that's tough. Mistakes were made. But he did take uh, Dick's down. down. He did, but uh, in turn got himself killed and also his uh, f a lot of his fire team there. Yeah. Rough. So we got a little bit of stall here. Let's take a look at the map. 
So we got the truck sort of secured-ish by INS. They're going to be bringing this Lodgy around. They need to take this Lodgy, load the supplies um, out of here and into the FOB, and then take this thing and load the FOB supplies into the Lodgy and, S and extract the, 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 the drone parts that way. That's their number one goal. It's kind of not a great hold that INS have. They could, US, if they move quickly, they could really break it. Um, but what they do have is a nice line on the drone from over the river. Uh, which is going to be, yeah, pretty, give them a pretty nice, like, defensive position. Even if not defending on the drone, they have a nice, like, they're cutting, um, really, the, the open fields kind of in half with those squads. All right, so the drones have been unloaded, or the drone parts have been unloaded into this FOB. You'll see uh, here in a little bit, a Logi coming in from, Logi Technical coming in from the west. As I'm talking about that, though, the northern squad's getting a big fight. Sugarheart is down. Evan is down. Two main big guys in that uh, yeah. squad there. And Sugarheart is the SL, so he he's, yeah, that's a big loss. You also got Dorf over there as well. Yeah, he's he, another SL. He needs to get out of there. He needs to recognize he's the SL and back up, which is exactly what he's doing, which is smart. Yes. The fight or flight mentality right there, and he definitely chose the right one. Yeah, keeping himself alive. Really, really smart. Although he is now re-engaging. Yeah, he does have some support, though. They're moving up to help him. Chameleon and Lima Bean are in his crosshairs. Kilo almost taking his head off, though. Woo! Now he's scared and turning tail. <laughs> Cutting his losses, really. Yeah. Lots of long range fights going on. Dorf's been reinforced, looks like. Still alive. Shookheart going down isn't great, but they can make do. There you see Oddball in the Lodgy. Drifting the Lodgy. Yeah, drifting the lodge, as you said. So he's going to be pulling the supplies, pulling the drone parts from the FOB, and taking them back to their hideout. And you can see where they will have the hideout, which is up here. This is going to be... We didn't see this last round. So they they did not successfully get the drone parts last round. So they've got them this time. Now they have the advantage, really. Yes. And, you know... It all comes down to uh, Sloth Boy accidentally team killing, accidentally killing his guys, but in turn saving those parts right there. Yes, d definitely. They died for a good a good cause, I believe. Man, push west on the I think I see a theme coming up for this one. Yeah. <laughs> you might need to move southwest, though. Your main objective is to get just north. Of so one interesting part location. point Delta here is that Kuba is in, looks like he's in control of this northern. Five, six guys up here. These guys have a nice little... They're controlling this northern part, this northern part of the river. And they've got a nice potential pinch going on if Dorf and Lex get brave and try to push this field. Doubt they will, but it's still a nice position. It doesn't look like they are. Looks like they're kind of staying in their hand. They know they have a force up there. Yeah. They don't really want to risk the lives, really, to, to take something that's off objective. So Yeah. It is important, though, and you'll see it a lot if you watch more and more of our events, that you'll see squads play off the objective points because having a little bit of breathing room to move around is so, so important. Definitely not advantageous for you to uh, to bottle everybody up on the point and just yeah. kind of alamo it. It yeah. doesn't, uh, doesn't ever bode well. It gets really one-dimensional if you do that. And that it's generally not, it's not very fun, and it's not usually a great strategy. Because that, that kind of 50-50 is the, the round, right? Anything can happen. You can, you know, <clears throat> if you're using recoil, right? You could just, your recoil could be one pixel off and you don't get a kill. And then you, you're breached and then there goes the objective. So it's a lot more 50-50 if you don't do that. And you also get a lot more flanks and a lot more action, really, when you have guys off point. Definitely. It's definitely far more fun to play when you're off point. Ooh, tried to lat. Lex, but well, to very, very short. 
things. Lex was taking his guys across the open field and decided against it smartly. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely not the way to go. Looks like Lex is hurt. Uh, he should probably find a medic soon. Yeah, so he is um, doing what a lot of squad leaders do, which isn't always great. It feels good to lead from the front like that, but it gets you killed a lot if you're not careful. And getting killed as an SL is a big problem. You um, definitely don't want to be Captain America in the front. You aren't invincible, and you can definitely get shot from anywhere. So it's it's best to let your guys do most of the work for you here. Yeah. All right, looks like Kuba's reeling in with the remains of that northern squad. A bit closer. Probably a good play, as they could have gotten cut off. It's smart for Alpha Guido to pull those guys back. It's yeah. really not not worth them being up there, not really doing much up there. Yeah. When you when you, you really, if you're going to, you only get one commit most of the time in these one life events. You get one, you get to pick your one battle. And if you're not 100% sure about it, um, or at least you don't think you have the advantage, it's usually best not to do it. I really like INS's uh, game plan here. They, they definitely have U.S. at a uh, very difficult position. They have to cross this river to get to that point, and yeah. that's... That's a very difficult task. Yeah, they picked a nice hideout. And <clears throat> the important thing is there, if they lose Lodgy, if they lose the, the drone, they can't use the hideout, really. Right? They have to defend that yes. that, that um, drone. So by getting the drone parts, they can now pick their terrain. We want to fight on this, this hideout spot rather than kind of having to be forced into uh, an engagement where you don't get a pick of the terrain. Yeah, it's definitely different from your traditional, uh, you know, attack defend ops where now the the attackers, in theory, before were in the United States, and now it's the INS is is, is on the defense, and they can choose their their terrain to fight on. It's it's really cool to see uh, some of this stuff turn out. One of my favorite things about watching, you know, I've been doing the broadcasting, squadding stuff for a long time. And I know you have. A lot of these guys have you get to see so many you can like almost tell who's commanding and who's squad leading based on like exactly how they're playing you get to see so many different styles come out like alpha obviously he's hammering his guys go 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 quick 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 he's got his plan um as you mentioned razor is a little newer to commanding you can see him be a little more cautious really not trying to lose an entire squad right at the beginning um but you know that stuff will Come with time, come with experience. But it's interesting to see the development people take doing commands. Oh, definitely. So. You can tell throughout the many squad leads we have, or many commands we have, uh, Alpha Guido being one of the most, I think, most aggressive, especially early off. He uh, he definitely wants to hammer home the objective and get there as soon as possible and then kind of figure out what to do later. Yeah. You know, uh, do something first, apologize for it later. Yeah. He, uh, he definitely has that under his belt he's done that many times and it's working out for him right now yeah you can see they have a pretty tight chokehold right here they've got all they have really nice vision all around here um and they're real like like you mentioned they're really going to force them to cross this river they're going to be forced to cross this river at some point and with these emplacements that they put up in a very defensible position this is uh this is definitely some place that uh it's very easy to defend, and with the emplacements, it makes it even better for him. So, yeah, so it should be interesting to see in uh, U.S. attack this here. So we've got looks well, like one Dishka facing south across this river, right? What else do we have for emplacements? We got some sandbags covering some doors. We got mortar on top of the roof. Yep. Yeah, that Dishka could really put some work in. Definitely wouldn't be Flicker right now in that tower. That is a uh, tower of death, yeah. and Command, doesn't really get, gain you much. Oh, Wilbur takes a nice shot from someone over, maybe D Leak or Lex Ryan. Gets absolutely dome pieced up in that window. That was that was tough. One thing as well, Karma Cut Squad here is in the middle on an island here, and uh, they're positioned. Very well to intercept the squad heading right to them. Yeah, so 
they're kind of cutting this in half, right? They're slicing down the center of, of the um, of the other attackers. Or sorry, the other U.S. guys. Um, oh, we do see. If you look up in the, in the northeast, Dorf's going on the big flank. He's going on a safari up there. Yeah, but, they uh, are definitely not anywhere close to any fighting. That could be the play. I mean, like you said, we got to cross this river. Well, he's trying to find another solution, which is clear some of this river out so you can actually cross without suiciding everybody. One thing I think new SLs definitely do is, or new commanders, they definitely love using that flanking squad. I think he may use this to his advantage here. They cross this river here, and they can, they can get them on the flank and open up a new front there. Yeah, because the other thing is, if Karma is in a good spot, but he, now he's also surrounded by water, right? So if he if his surrounding squads can't hold, now he has to cross the river. So we can kind of reverse the the Commander, strategy a little bit. Definitely, and once you if if U.S. is able to take this island, it, it's it's a very good uh, stepping stone to get to that fob. Yeah. Starting to come around. How many does he have alive? Let's take a quick look. We got one, two, three, four, five, six alive. Five plus the squad leader. That's plenty to clear out Kubo's uh, squad because Kubo is the fire team lead. Uh, from I was it Dick's folk who was up here. Um, no, Dick's folk was down south. Someone was up here. Dick's folk was with uh, the yes, that's the right. whole grenade thing. Grenade. Someone else died up here, and Kubo took over. And he has about five to six, five guys up here in this river. Shookhart was the one that was uh, leading in that squad. Shookhart, right. You are right. At this point, you see Razor kind of uh, like figuring out that he's not going to be able to cross this, this river. And is getting his guys really to flank way around. Hopefully pinching these, this, uh, this fob off. Boy, they are really making some ground up here. Oh, this is a really... I can't tell... So, I, has Koopa called them out? To my knowledge, no. He, he does not know they're there. Oh, he must be... He must have either seen... He, either he's not communicating it to his command or something. Because he's making the perfect move. In pulling back, he's pulling his yes, guys he, back. Yes, he's now calling out contact ah, to his northeast. So really he great. is, he is seeing these guys here. So that's smart. So if he engages over there, Dorf, I mean, they're, Dorf is stuck. Yeah, at, well, but I'm, but I mean, so is Kuba, and he's a little more exposed than Dorf. He's got a lot of room to work with. But Definitely. by by not by not shooting, holding, and just maneuvering his guys, he is now cutting off this whole flank, and it's gonna they're gonna. I mean, unless they really screw something up, they're going to at least take some guys down with them. Um, what I meant by stuck was they, you know, if they're not successful in eliminating these guys in front of them, they're going to be stuck up in this northeast side of the of, of the map oh, up here yes. and not be able to help their team at all. Yes, that's, yep, you are right about that. <clears throat> yeah, this is really smart. Dwarf gets domed! Oh, no, I just looked away! Who uh, who got Kuba the kill? looks Kuba looks through a hole in the wall <laughs> and absolutely annihilates Dorf. What a shot! Oh wow, I can see absolutely. the gap. What a what a shot through that. Oh, and then Lima wall. Bean gets domed by Chanka. We are oh, man. taking contact on the north map border to our southwest. Oh wow, what a shot! Two really nice shots on both sides. Although I will say. Losing Dorf is more of a loss, just because oh, he has the SL. Uh, but Sebi, and you see Kuba moving back. Yeah. So Dorf died, but Sebi right, has no, no. command Watch of the, his squad right now, and Se and Sebi, of course, Contact, uh, is uh, you know Echo he's done a lot of commanding, a lot of SL. So he's about as good a replacement as you can find, I think. Mortar's being shooting. called on their position. Chanka oh. getting hit by mortar. What a mortar! Dangerous mortars. Oh, that was a blind. That was a blind call. Chanka too. just got voted off the island there. And, and they did that without. I mean, they didn't walk the mortars in at all. 
No, that was first salvo was right on target. Very good. It's pretty sick. Patrick and Fulcrum are shooting at guys way far away. I'm not sure that's the kind of a hard shot moves. with this. Yeah, kind of a hard shot over there, and they're not anywhere really close. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a tall order to hit that, especially without any optics. As the rest of the map, we haven't really seen much. We're seeing um, looks like this is Lex Ryan's guys moving away from this field, pulling around east to go support. Um, Dorf, uh, who now Seb Sebi's um, squad. Man, I'm gonna have my team come in from the north. Now looks like all yeah, of Razor's, uh, Razor's guys have pulled, trying to flank now. He realizes he can't take this head on. You're doing great. Yeah. Sebi, whatever you're able to try to keep pushing southwest. One, I need you pushing west. I don't want you in the same situation as four. I want you clearing out those guys to the south. Jermaine, if we stay on the map border, we're just gonna get torn up. Uh, okay, so you south and then west. Phoenix calling out mortar missions at the moment. Yeah, Sebi's Asking smart. for one mortar. Yeah, he, he's smartly saying if we stay on map order, we're going to get torn up, which is absolutely correct. Especially, like you said, Phoenix. drop. I mean, they just absolutely destroyed Chanka with a mortar drop. So, yeah, good, definitely a good call to try to figure some other route out. As we see something like we saw last round, where everyone's trying to figure out what's going oh. on. Get organized. Order's being called in over here. Was that one by Very Airborne? Very good, actually. Yeah, Airborne and, and company have been hit by mortars. That's why you see their, uh, their health down a little bit. Nice. Pretty strong mortars going out right now. Oh, those, not those ones. Those are a little short. Oh, those are more than a little short. You're also seeing uh, Daniel and company over here. They're they're in a field, trying to sneak up on Phoenix and not NSA spy here. Oh man, this is such a this is such a tough spot for these guys in this field. I mean, I know what they're doing, but if if you get one or two nades in there, I mean, that's like. What five, four, three, four guys dead? Definitely, That's it's tough. uh definitely a reason why open fields are kind of frowned upon. Uh, you want as much cover as you can, and and hiding in the middle of a field, a lot of things could go wrong. Yeah, for sure. But you have to weigh the upside and the downside, right? Positives and negatives. If if, if it works out for you, you could like, actually have a surround on the um, INS hideout. So. Keep Definitely. Three. You're doing good. And if if they get up close, I mean, I mean, you got two um, guys who've been playing a lot of ops in Phoenix and Phoenix and NSA Spy, so kind of taking them out the is a, a big win. Yeah. And also, Fien I think it's an FTL and an SL yeah. there. So let's see if they get braver now. It looks like they're holding for now. A lot of posturing, not a lot of anything else. Actually, as I said, I think Hawk got killed from caught by Karma Squad. <clears throat> They're starting. Yeah, to looks like a uh, looks like Chameleon right there. He he's got eyes on there. Yeah, they're starting to get brave here in this um this drainage ditch. Oh, those mortars. Orders know. being called in danger close. Yeah, that is about as danger close as you could. How do you get the password? Chameleon. So, broke, oh, there goes Tinker Bells down. Command, are you if you see what you what, what's up here and you think yes, you're okay. interested in, in playing, you if you head to squadops.gg, click the Discord icon at the top. You'll get an invite to the squadops Discord, and from Probably there. We can get you set up with, um, you know, taking basic and signing up for events on the website and all that stuff. So if you're interested, head over to squadops.gg, click on the Discord link. Say you came in from the stream, and um, they'll get you sorted out and get you playing in no time. Yeah, we definitely have a good core of guys here. Uh, a lot of fun had.
Oh yeah, for sure. You will be your heart. No matter what happens, your first stop, you're, you'll be pounding. Your heart will be pounding. I guarantee you that. I mean, he took a shot. He's, he's a medic, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, he can heal himself. Meanwhile, up. Sebi and company are uh, are maneuvering. Actually, Ooh. doing what Dwarf didn't succeed in doing before, moving up farther. Yeah. Once again, those mortars come down and inflict some damage. Really, really good mortars this round. Yeah, Karma Cut trying to call in a uh, a fire mission. Yeah, I mean they've been on point. Both Phoenix and Karma Cut, I think, I mean, both calling in fire missions, and they they've been really effective. Kills really, yeah, damage. Yeah, really able. Really able to go ahead and get all of the, uh, all of that space in between them and, and call in and hopefully get a couple of those mortars. Yeah, I mean, the mortars are just effective for really hitting those targets where you, you don't want to commit yourself to fighting them. Oh! Uh, as I say that, Nightmare has a mortar dropped on his <laughs> noggin. What a mortar! That's the second, like... Sebi, peeling out. Oh, man. That's like the second cold round that's been dropped right on top of somebody. Wow. This, this same squad too. They've they've really been taking shellacking from these mortars. It's really, really nice. One mortar's going out. And you know, I have to imagine that that some of that is Kuba and Kilo who are calling out where they're seeing guys because I think they probably have some view of them too. Oh, definitely. I mean, all these guys are sending stuff up command and uh, and be able to really lock down those good callouts on the map as well are really key, especially when using mortars. Yeah. So I do want to point out that the, the flank we saw that was happening to the west with Daniel, I see that NSA spy is down. I don't know. Is Phoenix down too? Was that no, a successful? Phoenix has moved. Okay. Phoenix has moved east from that position. I don't think uh, he's been called out at all got it i think so, phoenix now now realizes that his guy is gone yeah they did get one which is a fire team lead which is a you know decent little prize for a risky mission there they're actually calling in mortars on their old position oh yeah really really smart for them to move up there especially after killing somebody i can't stress to you guys watching if you've never sl before you have local squad and command comms going on and to coordinate these fire missions as well as they have is so hard and it takes so much experience and they're i mean they're doing it they're getting they're getting information from three different avenues and funneling that into a bunch of nice damage with the mortars and just straight up just dropping them on people's heads you're now getting a uh, pretty good fight over here by uh, lex ryan squad he's moving in by himself revy's going to see him here soon no not even looking at him. Oh, oh, now he is. Lex, lean from the front, Lex. I like oh. the. I respect it, but he is gonna die here. One hundred percent, he's gonna die. Leaving the entirety of his squad behind here. Revy missing every shot. Oh, the mortars are getting close. D leaks out of there. He said no. Thank Lex you, the mortars. Lex Ryan, the first American to touch this island here, this little peninsula. Oh man, those mortars. Oh. And Lex goes down. And Lex Ryan. Yep. Not surprisingly, that is a that is the problem. Leading yeah. from the front there. Well, it, it, leading from the front is great if your squad follows you. Yeah. If they if they just sit there idle, it's not very effective. Yeah. Storm actually gets killed on the east side of this island. So this actually kind of opens it up a little bit. Fight milk and music are over here, but they it's easy to cross over here now. Now that storm is gone. Oh man, these mortars are doing so much work. They're, even if they're not doing damage, they're holding it down. I mean, they're, they're keeping them very from very scary moving. getting mortars coming in on your head and all around you. You, you definitely feel that that sense of urgency you need to get out of there. And, oh, yeah. and when you're kind of in a spot where you can't really move, it's there's not much you can do. Yeah, you can practically feel those things landing, especially when you know you can't respawn. So you definitely want to get out of there as quickly as possible. Yeah. Three more mortars out. Four and one, ramp up that fire. I don't hear any shooting. Oh, D-Leak. Where, sorry, where? 
Uh, D League died. I actually didn't see what happened to him, but he was the one who was dodging mortars. He may have got killed from fight mode for a new Zip. Oh, someone died inside the the um, INS um, hideout. That's actually the first time that's interesting too. Looks like uh, Razor's getting a line of guys up to try to get some uh, some fire down on him. U.S. didn't seem like they were doing a ton, but they're they're inching up on this hideout. They're taking it slow. They're not losing too many, and they're really working their way close. Copy that. We're moving. Now marked with red smoke there. Someone went down. Razor actually, as command, out on a hill by himself here. No cover. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of this. Oh, no. He gets tagged for it. <laughs> One mistake there. You know, as your command, you're, you're, you're the head honcho, so you, it's definitely uh, definitely ballsy to go out there and, and now crossing the river. Oh, no. Boy, this makes me... Oh, this is so tense. He makes it across, though. Get in there and start fucking fragging this compound. Alright, he wants his guys to move up, start fragging this compound. Definitely seeing some push on this on this hideout here. This this is uh the uh climax of this fight here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh the mortars are so good! Very danger close here. Oh the mortars are so you good. You see the mortar tube, it's it's basically pointing directly up that's how you know the enemy is close when the mortar tube is facing straight up in the air lawn oh. goes down oh cold kill oh there goes cold kill, cold kill. kill. All right, they got some suppression oddball stuck on the roof there Madical is in such a dangerous spot oh no there goes razor there goes command Tai Tai is into the, into the compound. This is the first time we've seen the breach. Boy, these mortars are just... Absolutely crushing. Definitely sucks getting all the way to that point not just to be mortared on them. Oh, I don't get Definitely tie -tie. frustrating. Oh, my screen is shaking around like a leaf. That's all these explosives land. And just like that, those mortars did its job and held off a lot of the guys. Yeah. And they've they've stemmed the breach here. Razor and Tai Tai just getting close to the the uh, entrance, getting just across it, and then pretty much being dispatched. Ooh, Matical, actually, nice nade for Money Man. Matt, probably suspecting someone's over there. Medical takes Medical a has damage. a great spot right now if Money Man moves past the sandbag. There he goes. And takes him out. Sweeping it up. We got guys on the north side now. Daniel Raptor Force. Alright, I'm gonna run across. I think we should push in. Well, I think we should push in. Oh, oh guy. Raptor Force goes down. Uh, Daniel yeah. goes down by a nade. Oh, the double kill's coming out. Looks like you got one guy over here on the uh, on the northeast side. Oh, and also uh, Flemio Hotman putting down some shots. Yeah, but they really shut them down. Looked Those like mortars a, did so much damage. Looked like a good. It looked like a good play. Oh man. Uh, hot Hot man is getting uh. It's getting lit up here. Yeah. Uh, nice job from INS, by the way, to push out a buddy team and kind of get another flank going on. So they're not all just bunched. Um, they're not all just bunched up in the compound, right? Because that is actually, definitely exploitable. I actually missed it, but uh, looks like INS Command Alpha Guido is dead. Oh, did he go down? He did, and that attack that. with Daniel and uh, Raptor Force up there. Take a look at kills. 21 kills for US, or 21 deaths for US, 34 deaths for NS. So we're looking 
Like, this is going to be pretty tough. I mean, that's doing got such a call good from, job. Got a call from Karma Cut. They're, uh, they're going to abandon that position and fold back in on the point. Yeah. We're starting to really wrap here. I think we got... Oh, I was about to say, that might be the last guy, there and it go. was. GG well, comes in from the game heavens. Yeah, another nice round.